Clavor 36 Enthusiast here with Operation 20 Core, Turn 7.5, Commonwealth. It is July 1939. The Commonwealth gets a peacetime income increase roll. They PPE generated a 6, so they jump up to 22. Uh, tech rolls. Commonwealth has two tech rolls. First, I tried for radar at a 7 or higher. PBE generated a 9, so I succeeded and I advanced to stage 3. Second, I tried for long-range aircraft at an 8 or higher. PBE generated a 2, so I failed. Purchases. Great Britain has 16 IPP to spend. I will purchase 3 militia for 6. 2 infantry for 6, that's 12. 1 marine for 4, that's 16. FEC has 8 IPP to spend. I will upgrade one militia to an infantry for two. One militia for two, that's four. One infantry for three, that's seven. I'll save one IPP. Anzac has five IPP to spend. I'll purchase one militia for two and one infantry for three. That's five. Previewing the French, five militia. Uh, combat movement. I reached out to um, Boston Bruce about uh, any possible moves that might trigger war, and he did not want any part of that as Japan. I also reached out to Panzer J about potential moves, but he hasn't gotten back to me, but I don't think he's gonna declare war. Um, but if he does, we'll just PBE it. Okay, um, from Calcutta. Oh, nope, that's not true. That's not a combat move, because I'm gonna strategic naval move him, Never mind. Gibraltar, that's where I started. Okay, from Gibraltar, um, one naval transport leaves port to sea zone A44, uh, and then it goes up to A21, and goes in port in southern England. Um, from sea zone A19, one torpedo boat destroyer will come off escort duty, then move to sea zone A18 and go on escort duty. From sea zone A35, move down just to scooch, catch that. Okay, from sea zone A, oh, is that 35? No, that, sorry guys. Uh, these sub, these destroyers right here uh, are going to come off escort duty. They'll move to A27. Uh, one will move to A18 and go on escort duty. The other will move to A20 and go on escort duty. Okay. Down here in Gibraltar, one naval transport will leave port to sea zone M2 carrying two infantry. It will move over to sea zone M8, at which point Italy could declare war on them. If they don't, then it will drop off, um, drop off the two infantry in Lower Egypt and go in port in Lower Egypt. So that will bring me up to eight infantry in Lower Egypt. And then um, from Lower Egypt, one naval transport will leave port to M8, and then it'll go back to Gibraltar. This is something he can't, uh, Italy can't stop from happening because he doesn't have uh, warships in sea zone M8. So this guy goes in Gibraltar. In port in Gibraltar goes that naval transport. I think that might be all my combat movement, but let me double check. Yep, that's all my combat movement. In fact, I shouldn't have, that last one didn't need the naval transport since he couldn't um, stop me. I could have just moved that in regular non combat movement. Okay, up here in southern England. One light carrier will leave port to sea zone A21 and move down to A27, one, two, and join 
that task force that is in C zone A27. So basically I have two light carriers there, um, one with a fighter, one just empty. Okay, then from Southern England, one naval transport will leave port to C zone A21, move over to A22, pick up the Marine and strategic naval move one, two, three, four, down to A44. Drop off the Marine in Gibraltar and go in port in Gibraltar. So that puts two naval transports in port in Gibraltar. Two infantry mounting in that Marine. Okay. Um, Okay, down in Cape Town, I have a Marine, and that guy is gonna strategic rail move up to Lower Egypt. So right here down in Cape Town, that Marine is gonna rail to Lower Egypt. Let's put this seaplane over here. Okay. Um, I think now we've got this move over here in Calcutta. Uh, from Calcutta, the Anzac Naval Transport will leave port to sea zone I-11, and then it will strategic naval move. I've used two of my three strategic naval movements um, on the Marine, getting the Marine from London to Gibraltar. Here's the third one. So one to I-12, two to I-7, three to I-4, four to I-5, five to M8 and go import in Lower Egypt. Okay. Um, placement of units. Well, actually I have a recruitment role for Finland. Let's do that. Uh, Finland failed with a five. Uh, I can do, I could move, let's see, I, let's see, what do I want to do? He can't cut me out of supply, so I think I'm just going to fall back to, uh, to Helsinki. Sorry for not, I didn't even remember that I had Finland. Hope that's kosher with, with folks. Um... Because really, I should have done that move before seeing what the recruitment role was. But um, oh, I should move this. Should I move this guy? I'm going to move him up here where I for, forgot about him last game. Move the coastal fence ship up to A13. Okay. Um, placement of units. So the Anzac, they have a militia and an infantry that are going to go into Sydney. Militia, and then that brings me up to four infantry. And Anzac collects five. Same, so they have the same for next turn. Um, FEC. Okay, so FEC is going to place one more infantry in Calcutta. Brings me up to nine FEC infantry there. Then I will uh, build a militia, a second militia in Calcutta. And then the Militia that's in southern India will be upgraded to an infantry. Let's get that on camera. And then collect income. So I saved one, I collect eight, so I end the turn with nine IPP.
Great Britain will end the turn with 22 in the bank. Um, they will place one infantry down here in Cape Town. And then they'll place one infantry, one marine, and three militia in London. That's three militia, one infantry, one marine. All right, and I already told you they collect 22. So that is the end of the British turn. Uh, now we'll start France's turn. France has one tech roll. I PBE'd for advanced mechanized infantry and I succeeded with a seven. Trying to keep up with those Germans on advanced mechs. So both of us are at stage three. Combat movement. Oh, no, no. Uh, peacetime income increase. Uh, let's see. Rolled a five. Well, that's good. I'm glad I rolled less for the French than I did for the British. But that means that the Germans will get to collect 15 when they capture France next turn. So France is at 15. Alrighty. Um... Combat movement. Do have a couple combat moves. This uh, ENC zone A44, one French destroyer will come off escort duty and then move three spaces up, one to A35, two to A27, three to A19, and go on escort duty in A19. The French or the Germans could declare war. Um, Uh, you know what? Wait, I'm changing that move. What I'm doing is I'm waiting there. Uh, in C zone M4, um, now I, I did say that I would do that. So he, he could declare war if he wants on just that one destroyer. It'd be the sub and the, um, coastal sub and a regular sub versus a destroyer. I don't think Panzer J is going to declare war, but I did move through there if he does want to. Now, um, over here in M4, a light cruiser and a destroyer will come off of escort duty, and then they will move over to A35 and go on escort duty. about this all right and then from C zone M8 one destroyer will come off escort duty move over to C zone M4 and go on escort duty and that's all my combat movement non-combat move I do have some non-combat movement in France well, first I'm gonna do a move right here while I've got the camera nearby. From C zone I-5, two naval transports move to M-4. They'll move over here to Malta. One, two. Okay. Um, in France. So from Alsace-Lorraine, I'm going to um, strategic rail move three militia to uh, Normandy. And then uh, I will build two in Alsace-Lorraine. That'll bring me up to four. And three in Paris. That'll bring me up to 19. Let's get a green chip. OK, 
Yeah, I, I am. I have thought for sure Panzer J was going to attack last turn, but I'm pretty sure he's going to attack this turn. Alrighty. Um, let's do. Oh, I collect income, which is 15 IPP. So let's do disposition of forces. In northern England, one militia. In southern England, four militia, an airborne infantry, an anti-aircraft artillery, an uh, air transport, a fighter, and in port, a naval transport. In sea zone A21, a French fighter on map. In sea zone A6, French battleship. In sea zone A23, French battleship. In London, three militia, one uh, infantry, one marine, one anti-aircraft artillery, uh, in port in London, one battleship, one battle cruiser, and one coastal defense ship. In sea zone A20, two British destroyers on escort duty. In sea zone A28, two British destroyers on escort duty. In sea zone A19, a French destroyer and a French torpedo boat destroyer on escort duty. In sea zone A18, a destroyer and a torpedo boat destroyer on escort duty. In sea zone A27, two light carriers, one of them with a fighter, two heavy cruisers, two destroyers, one torpedo boat destroyer. In sea zone A35, a French light cruiser and destroyer on escort duty. In sea zone uh, A44, one uh, French medium bomber on map. In Gibraltar, um, in port, there's a battleship, no, two battleships, a heavy cruiser, and two naval transports. Gibraltar has two infantry, one mountain infantry, one marine, one anti-aircraft artillery, one militia, a uh, fort, coastal gun, and medium bomber. In Malta, one militia. In C-Zone M8, I'm going to move this. Oh, I can't because I already rolled dice. Never mind. Um, let's see. In C-Zone... M8 is a, a coastal submarine. In Cyprus, a militia. In Lower Egypt, one militia, eight infantry, one marine, two anti-aircraft artillery in port in Lower Egypt on the northern side, one British tra naval transport, one Anzac naval transport in port in Lower Egypt on the southern side, two heavy cruisers, and one destroyer. In sea zone I-5, four French submarines. In Cape Town, two infantry. Let's see. In southern India, one FEC infantry in Ceylon, a militia. In British Malaya, a militia and a fortification and a coastal gun. In Sarawak, a militia. In Calcutta, two militia, a fortification. Uh, two British infantry, nine FEC infantry. Infantry, two Anzac infantry, one Gurkha, two Anzac artillery, two British anti aircraft artillery, two FEC anti aircraft artillery. In Sydney, one militia, four infantry, one motorized infantry, a uh, half built fortification, North and South Island of New Zealand, a militia each. Next up is my good friend Panzer J with turn 7.7. .7. Italy.